China's economy is sluggish, the real estate market has collapsed, local governments grapple with debt crises, and discussions around unemployment and salary reductions are gaining momentum. On the 27th, sudden dramatic salary cuts became a trending topic. Netizens shared their perspectives. The salary cuts came out of the blue. Some saw their salaries halved overnight. It's not just a cliff edge, it's a continuous decline. It's not merely salary reductions. Many are being laid off directly. Businesses are collapsing like cliffs, leading to massive layoffs. The real estate sector is particularly struggling. Over 800 employees in my husband's company saw their after-tax salaries drop from 10,000 yuan to less than 2,000 yuan. One particularly resonant post garnered nearly 3,500 likes. It highlighted how companies, banks, civil services, hospitals, and schools have been slashing salaries since the end of last year, primarily through drastic reductions in performance-based pay. A commenter expressed concern, I fail to understand why prices never seem to drop, yet wages keep plummeting. Given the layoffs and job markets conditions trends over the past couple of years, if this continues, will the entire system collapse? A financial influencer shared an article stating that civil servants in Baozi City, Shanxi province, experienced salary cuts ranging from 5 to 10 percent. Xu Chenggang, a political economist at Stanford University in the United States, addressed this issue on the Don't Understand podcast last month. He emphasized that China's economic woes stem from systemic issues rather than individual factors. The decline of the middle class into poverty is an ongoing trend with many middle and upper middle class individuals slipping back into poverty. The severity of this problem will depend on how rapidly economic conditions deteriorate. If a financial crisis erupts, mass unemployment could happen suddenly. Without a crisis, the decline could be gradual, akin to boiling a frog in warm water, but escalating over time. 